right, so I saw this post wins Polarium could do, and I haven't read it yet, but I'm assuming it's, you know, things that Polarium could change to make the state of the game better. And um, I like this post, or I, I like the title of this post, I don't know what he says yet, but I'm assuming, if you know, if it's what I think it is, that this is a good thing just to talk about at the very least so we can refocus and <laughs> be more positive, right? We want to be positive, we want to be more objective. Uh, before reading any of these, I think the first and foremost thing, uh, the thing that I would like to see changed the most, like the first and foremost thing would probably be uh, live arena, uh, probably the timers. I'm enjoying live arena, not currently, I've been taking like a two day break, so I haven't done any live arena, but um, I think live arena is like the last thing that I like so far about Raid, because everything else is pretty much done for me. There's not really anything else. Um, so Live Arena could be improved, and I think the the first thing would be the timers. Because uh, sometimes, like, it does this weird thing where it's like when you're in a fight, the timer goes all the way from, like, 15 seconds, and then it keeps counting. Sometimes that happens. And it doesn't even start exactly at 15 seconds. It has, like, a little bit of a delay. And then when it reaches zero, sometimes it doesn't immediately um, enact any move. And then I think 30 seconds is way too long to have an opponent choose their champions. And, you know, there's just people who use bots in live arena or they go AFK. I feel like those things need to be addressed and dealt with. I think a lot of people were saying something along the lines of after the second instance of this, they should be banned and re repeat, uh, repeat offenders should be banned for even longer with each consecutive um, AFK thing. So I figured, you know, those those are probably things that I would look for in changes if Polarium was going to, you know, hand out W's. And, um, you know, we want we want Polarium to give us something good to talk about, right? If they keep giving us bad things to talk about, well, guess what we're going to talk about? All the bad things. But if you guys hand us out wins, I'm talking Polarium, about Polarium, they're not listening to me. If you guys hand us a W's, well, guess what we're going to talk about? W's. So let's start off by pulling some immortal soul stones and then we're gonna go ahead and talk about the list of things here all right what are we gonna get there is a tournament i like gala i like gala. i think i have a five star for her though there is a tournament going on so we're gonna take this and i took the clan quest for uh top three i think i have a good amount of soul stones so i have a good chance of oh nice i think i have a good chance of um Getting somewhere in the top three for the clan quest. All right, oil mixing would be really nice. Yeah, you know, Pop Drock actually in his last video that I uh, reacted to, because my channel is basically reaction content at this point. It's it's a really good idea that he he mentioned because a lot of uh, players who do farm Sand Devil and Phantom Shogun have like tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of the small minor pots, but then they have like it's disproportionate from the lesser to the medium to the you know whatever the best one the large potions it's disproportionate you have you can have like 200,000 of the minor potions and then like 9,000 of the mediums and then only 4,000 of the large potions if we could mix oils up into the higher tiers in the same way that we're able to do with potions for ascension that would be pretty good who's this over here i just realized do you guys know who this is who are, these, who are these people back here? Let's pull, um, do a 10 pop. Yeah, let's do a 10 pop. That sounds good. Yeah. Give me that 10 pop and then we can convert a little bit. All right. So we have a Turvold. I do not have Turvold, but I've seen people use Turvold in Hydra. So I think if I were to, gonna, if I if I did pull Turvold, because he's like an OG one, I think I might actually have fun building Turvold and using him, trying him out in Hydra. Although, I think he's got a multi-hitter, right? Which basically means that he's not as effective as anymore as he was before, because the decapitated heads are now working as intended, quote unquote. Let's see, I'm going to drink a little coffee. Hold on. Elva. As an end gamer, I don't really use Elva that much. I like her as a champion, but I just don't really use her. Let's can we uh let's, let's round this out. Let's get three in. Oh, perfect. 
Let's get three in. Let's round this out. All right, give me something good. And we have an epic. <laughs> the OB used to be so coveted. I, man, the days were different back then. I used to be so happy to do clan boss and achieve a new score every single time. And OB was one of the champions that I used as a poisoner to be able to break into Ultra Nightmare. Iron Twins remove energy cost. Right, because if we're able to, if it's a limited thing, and there's other areas of the game that don't require energy, like in Doom Tower, rather they're just keys, like, uh, not Siege. Oh, I have to do Siege, by the way. Um, Centranos, I feel like Iron Twins, with how restricted and how necessary it is, especially for the Marius missions, removing this would be pretty good. It would be a good decision. I definitely agree with that one. But how many of you guys, oh, another OB. How many of you guys are actually farming OB, or not OB, IT on a regular basis? Me, I, I usually only do it on Sundays, unless I'm doing the, the Marius missions for it, which I'm stuck here waiting for Hydra to reset. So I have to do Hydra to get 20 million and then I'm just not gonna do it. But I'm gonna I'm about to leave this clan. I already informed everybody. Um, and then I'm gonna jump to a smaller clan that uh one of my other clans is uh, baby clans in. Or has a baby one of my clans has a baby clan, and that's the clan I'm gonna join in. Minotaur super battles, and you should be able to collect yes, super battles for Minotaur. Right now they're only at what 15? Ooh, Laverina, we should do that next. You should be able to collect scrolls that you can spend as opposed to having to apply it to champions ruining it or running it. That way you can run food. Yeah. Let's pull some more. Let's do let's do 20 here. And then we're gonna do another 10 pop on the medium section. Aniri. Used to really need her, not so much anymore. Revert live arena advance quests or change it to win one or participate in two games. I think, yeah. Oh, what's this? And Hackhorn. Used to be really good. You would build a high res Hackhorn. And what do we have over here? Six star over here. Cavalax. Don't have him on this account, but he's still welcome. I'll, I'll still take that. And let's do a 10 pop here. Oh, oh, and a mythical I don't have. Oh, oh, and oh, I do have this champion. Six stars, that's good. And a giant cock. Okay. Yeah, the medium potions always have like the the highest. Not the highest, obviously, but nice. Oh, that would be an awesome um, mythical champion to have. Definitely a lot better pulling these over this one because you could pull like a thousand of these and not get like a, a, a good five star but you pull a bunch of these you're definitely going to get something so now we're in position number one so we're, we're sitting pretty we're sitting pretty right now let's convert this we're going to convert this so we have an extra eternal soul stone i'm going to read one of these and then we're going to pull a, a soul stone reasonable prices either for in store or for the deck of fates yeah don't make the deck of fate cost 40% for no good reason. 40% more. Or what was the thing? I, I forget the specifics of it, but 40% sounds like a familiar number. Um, some people were saying the advanced quests for Live Arena are a little bit better. Or maybe not the advanced quest. What was it? Hold on, let me see. I recently saw it a couple days ago when they implemented it. Yeah, this. So, I'm actually okay with this because these are here as well as this the, the legendary tomes and the oils or not that oil the dust those are pretty good and then i'm not sure what the artifacts here are legendary skill tome earn you can earn one per month from La oh okay yeah so live arena is gonna probably be something that i'll keep up with um in it so far as i can get the the, the, the frame here, because I, I want to collect the frames here as well. All right, let's pull this and then we'll move on to bigger change wins. And we have a champion that I'm not going to build or try out. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, bigger change wins. Ninja Returns. Was, yeah, he was really popular. Do more of that kind of content. 
like free giveaway champions, login champions, UDK, yeah. Oh my God. If UDK returns, Deliana's okay. I mean, I think she's pretty good. I don't think she's a bad champion. I think she's like actually really solid and she can, I've actually built her as a nuker once and she was actually able to, you know, you know, throw some hands in arena and that was, that was pretty fun. Increase your soul capacity. Okay, so we're full up on souls here. Let me see who I can ascend. Let's give this ascension to Countess Lix. Oh, wait a minute. Wasn't there a Marius mission? Oh, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll keep Ruella aside. All right, let's give this to Gala, who I did a video on trying her out. And yeah, she's a pretty fun, fun nuker. Arwid was another epic that really stands out to me that um, I got to work on. Or not work on. What was I trying to say? I mean, I was trying to say that I that I did a video on her, and then I was gonna. I was trying to say that mentally in my head, I need to work on him. Uh, Lua, all right. The Marius missions require us to sell a certain amount, so I'm also kind of not trying to sell everything right away because I know that the missions are going to come up. But let's go ahead and sell anything three star and below. And I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine if I sell, especially from the rare section. And then by the time I get to that mission, I'm pretty sure I can just summon some more. So let's sell the three stars and below. Let's get it out of the way. And do I have Warlord at two stars? I think he's at a higher is he where's my warlord at oh he's already at two stars okay so i don't need another two star warlord you know what i really need a Krizia. is she still viable for hydra Here, let's since i made you guys wait let's pull let's pull this eternal soul stone that's a dumb question i already know she's still viable this was a champion i pulled early on that i really wanted to be good because he looked cool to me, but no, no. Give us three times speed for non-skippable skippable content. So I know King Arthur has a 3x speed and that's one of the things, uh, for those of you who don't know, I started playing King Arthur and that's one of the, ooh, Michinaki, don't have him here. Uh, that's one of the things that I'm, I've been really liking about King Arthur. I feel like things go a lot faster. I was talking to Darin um, about King Arthur and he was talking to me about how he doesn't feel compelled to have to do raid like he doesn't have he doesn't feel the need to just log into raid all the time you know you when you're in raid there's like so many FOMO events and there's like oh you got to do this got to do this got to do this or you're gonna miss out well King Arthur is so easy to just put down and pick back up and it made me realize that that's how gaming should be right mobile gaming doesn't really uh at least for for raid it's the only real mobile game that i've sunk my teeth into raid doesn't do that raid is very good at sucking you in i almost said sucking you off <laughs> sucking you in and making you feel like oh crap like i need to do that but king arthur's at least for now right because i'm still not that deep that's what she said and um i don't know what it's going to be like once i finally understand fully the mechanics of the game and everything. So we'll see. Whisper, we're keeping her for Centranos. We're gonna build her for Centranos. And Hellborn uh, was a fun champion to just play with, but uh, I'm not gonna use an Executioner and no, we'll keep that going. Rowan, ah, why not? Who knows? You, you, just, you just never know. And then, oh, my second Trunda, that's right. All right, hold on real quick. Plus one Trunda. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, Faction Guardians first. Took the dwarves. Is my, are my dwarves full up? Oh, yep, already full. Actually, hold on, you guys let me know. Should I? I'll let you guys decide. Plus one Trunda or build a second Trunda? Well, what am I gonna do with a second Trunda? I'll hold off, let me, I'll see what you guys say. Let's go ahead and pull 20 more. But yeah, that's why I'm, I'm really liking King Arthur so far. It feels like an actual game. All right, a lot of cold hearts going on. 
Wish he would give me more than just a two star. More to macabre. Another 10 pop. Drinking another cup of coffee. Or a sip of coffee. Mmm. Constantine. I built Constantine in a Affinity Breaker set. Yeah, I did that. We also have make the guardian ring XP farm, keep farming XP without having to click the level up champion thing. Yeah, that's true. We also have market rework, put summoning fragments in the market, which would actually be a really good idea. I can't believe I never thought about this, but putting summoning fragments in the market. So, um, let me see. For those of you who don't know, I know most of you know, but you know, some of, some of, somebody might not know. If you go here, you have your summoning fragments and sometimes you just have a little bit of extra or some leftover from other content or from past fusions that you half like, did but then didn't really like fully go into and if you're missing some of those fragments from old fusions you should be able to buy them and i think that's a really good idea here in the market if you just you know go there all right let's see what we have we have a hundred mortal stones stones soul stones left definitely want this and i don't think i have any other choices right now let's pull another 10. A third vault for champions, so I can store food and faction guardians separately. Easier lets us rank up gear. Yeah, that's true. This is good. I like this idea. Right, let me bring it over here. He says a third vault for champions, so I can store food and faction guardians separately. Easier to rank gear up. Yeah. And then he says, please do something with Tag Team Arena. I'm not sure what changes in Tag Team Arena that I would like to see. Because for me, it's just been um, pretty much on auto. Like if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. And I basically just do it for the missions and then the odd CVC where I feel like participating in. Other than that, I'm not really too... I'm, a I'm out of touch, basically, with what's going on in, in Tag Team Arena. So if, if you have any issues with Tag Team Arena, I'd be interested to see what they are. Because I don't know what the Tag Team... Ar I guess you could be like, oh, there's uh, too many people with high level uh, bullcrap, like a bunch of mythical champions, and uh, there's why am I in gold one only, and I'm dealing with this. Like I, that, I, I I can understand that. Yeah. Oh, let's go here. All right, another tenor. Come on. All right, and of course another one star. And, yep, I fought Jing Wong in Live Arena the other day. He's got some cleansing capabilities, which I did not expect. Deliana, nice to see you. Another cold heart. And, ah, Mezumel. I almost got excited. I was like, maybe it's going to be a fur champion that I have. Magma. All right, what's this? Vizier. Okay. Oh, oh. Raf Matab. <sighs> okay. Let's give this to Vi. Uh, now nah, let's give the blessing to Viz. And Obi. <laughs> I'm like, should I? Or should I? Not? I'm never gonna use him. You know what I mean? And I'm not going to use this cold heart. This Trenda? We'll hold off on that. Let's. I'm going to make some room. Again. Let's sell. I'm about to start selling four stars and below. Uh, keeping the turn limit change to lower or farther. Change the reward limits to match the change ratio. And he's talking about Hydra. 
I'm actually okay with the term turn limit being shorter. Now I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, I, I can't attain the same amount of damage that I was before. But I think the inverse of that would probably be you're getting your time back. And I'm a fan of that. That's, I mean, there's no real two ways about it. Because Hydra used to take somewhere around an hour if you're full autoing it, like 45 minutes. Now it's only like 35, 30 to 30, 30 to 35 minutes to hit turn limit. So I take that as a, as a win. Calamitous, wasn't he like a, like a, whoa, a five-star Mesomel champion I don't have. Wasn't Calamitous like a really good champion? I mean, all, I, are all, no, Aphidius is a crap mythical from what I remember. I tested him out once and wasn't too impressed. And then I've seen people say he's like the worst mythical champion. Which is weird to say, because, you know, if you have a mythical champion, you expect them all to be good. Frolny is actually pretty dope. You know? Frolny? You know Frolny. You, you guys know Frolny. All right, let's get rid of more. We're running out of space here. Uh, let's get rid of these. You don't need to be here. And we don't need Nia either. Oh, let's get rid of this one also. There you go. Oh, wait. All right, let's pull a big one, guys. Come on. Mm. Oh my god, wow. That's crazy, because I just pulled him, too. Where is he? Right here. So now he has a, a five-star blessing. That's sick, dude. Awesome. I don't know where to use him. I don't know where I'm going to use him, but yeah. Come on. Sky touched, OG. Lordly Legionnaire. Legionary. Surian. Um, let's go. Let's finish this Hydra list. Shield comps should cap at 10 million. So that shield comps are still possible, but not the best. Serpent's Will. Oh god, don't even get me started on Serpent's Will. Shouldn't be damage reduction or prevention. Instead, just prevent the heads from being decapitated for X amount of turns. Yeah? Yeah, I could see that. Like, let's say, oh, this head can't be de decapitated for one or two turns. You can still do damage to them. But, yeah, I'm a fan of this idea. I definitely would like... I would prefer to see this over what's... Um, over Saf's idea. Don't have the exposed next HP separate from the regular HP and have it work like clan boss where the clan whittles it down together. Yeah, decapitating a head should work like Scarab King, where it's a secondary bar that pops in the head, or that pops the head, then regens slowly until the head is back. Buff HP bur or buff poisons, HP burns, and max HP damage to do to be at little a little, at least a little bit more competitive. Nerf Yumiko. Do we need a nerf on Yumiko? Speaking as a as a Yumiko um, abuser, maybe if you want, if you want, nerf her only for Hydra. Is that a thing that people can do? Can Polarium do that? Only nerf her for only nerf a champion for one area. I think that would help out. If you nerf, for an example, Wixwell. If you nerf Wixwell for Hydra, making the shield comp the shield teams uh, less viable but still probable to work, then you still leave uh, Clan Boss. Uh, Demon Lord clan boss untouched and people would probably be really happy about that I think all right let's do a 10 pop here and then we're going to do another one for the medium-sized potions we have a seer but I think she's already at five or six stars damn dude Polarium has players doing all their homework for free and they still sit on their hands and doing nothing that's a wild statement bro Doing their homework for free is funny. They copied some or all of this from videos posted earlier today. Jet, was it? This was my comment I posted on Nub Raid's video. Some points are the same, similar to the ones he brought. This is my YouTube account. So, <laughs> somebody take Solstice's name? Or I guess it's. I guess, I don't know. Solstice is. I only know one Solstice. Polarium, that's one big pile of shit. That's funny. Come on. Aphidius. 
We don't want you here. Okay. And pull this. Last 10 pop. Let's see it. See it to believe it. Give me a laws. Six star laws. Who is that? Uh, who Who is that? Nell? A wife. I love my wife. Hmm. Six star sham. All right, so we have a few more soul stones. Let's keep it running. Let's keep going. It is a 2x. It's like the best time to do it. Plus, there's a tournament. I'm already in first place, so might as well go further. Beyond. All right, let's do our tenors. Really would like a laws if uh, they'd be nice enough to give that to me. Just to round out here. Galathir would be a fun champion to get. King Galkabar. I have him, never used him before. I think I might have used him for Centronos. But I don't remember him. Krokmar. Looks like a fun champion. An interesting champion. Ilsinia at six stars. And oh, we have another one. We can buy another one. Hold on, let me buy one more here. And let's pull. Anax, Anix, <laughs> Anix. This is the one. Another Nell and three stars. Come on, it's two X. Five stars for Ambassador. I think he was just a fusion for Makage. Four star. Yeah, I don't know who that was. All right, this is the one. Something good. Morgane, five stars. We'll take it. She was a recent pull for me. All right, this is the one. Oh my god. Ugh, fuck. All right, we're going to give that to Morgane. Give her a five star blessing. King Galkapar can get it. No ditty. And a lot. I already had a. Yeah. So. All right, let's do this. We got one here, one here. Not expecting much from these, but you know, you just never know, you never know. As always, you just never know. Fuck it, let's just do this. Spend the 145 gems. Acolyte, Trugger, and Blood Mask. I just remembered that I pulled another Kandrophon, Demon Spawn, so... Oh, damn, should I plus four him? Wait, what do I get if I plus four him? Hold on. If I plus four candy, you get more speed. I don't really use candy in um arena like that anymore, though. But at the same time... I'm like, uh, this would be one of my only plus four champions. It'd be really fun to, to have another plus four champion. And then maybe I could try him out again. And um, maybe he's going to be fun. But then again, I could give the entire to, you know, for the greater good. We're just going to put him here then. And now our final position is at 10,000. 